Uh, thanks, man. He's a really awkward boy. Sometimes you need to be awkward to be awkwardness. And that was the case then. there. I was jumping in with shots and stuff, but just now I was still staying back and catching him when he fell in and trying to work the ball. It was a hard, hard fight on that. I'm more wounded, man, for all these fights. I was two man that in. What tactics did he use for this fight? What did he have in mind? I was trying to keep, make sure when he threw his backhand, but it went straight back. I was kind of angling down, looking back over the top. He likes his one twos and uh, try to come across. He likes to spin off. Happy all the time, try to come across and come off. And uh, what do you make of the crowd? I mean, when you when oh. you won that when you won that fight, they announced you oh. the winner. I couldn't believe it. I feel as if, like I said, I was only that deep. Do you know what I mean? I said honestly, the crowd are unbelievable. You look at it. Well, when you walked in, Charlie, when you, the, the reception you got when you were in the ring uh, before the fight oh. began was amazing. Oh, man, it's like a thunderstorm, man. Every time you land a punch, it just roars like a thunderstorm. Oh, it's absolutely under. I can't explain it, you know what I mean? I'd just like to thank everybody that put me here, especially my dad. He's been training me for the past three years, four years. Every morning, two hours, every morning. He's sacrificed all his own work, all his own time. My mum doing everything, all my washing, all my clothes, food, diet, everything. Honestly, I wouldn't be here without them. Peter Harris and Pat Mallon, Frank in at the gym, all in the city. So what they did in the background, nobody will understand it, nobody. Did, did, he, did he catch their eye on the, fi on the final bell? Uh, was he? Well, I mean, all the, all the family and friends, could he see them at, at the corner of your eye? No, I just see the serious little ants up there in my eye. Yeah. Ants that sound like lions, you know what I mean? But uh, it's amazing, I just, most important, I like to thank God for everything he's gave me. Life, and when, when you're in these games, you know, it's a lot of country, you've not got much, you know what I mean? And you just, you're just thankful for your health, your well-being. And the place you're right now, you know what I mean? That's your question, one other people you might want to thank. The Royal Mail! Ah, oh, the Mail! The Mail, <laughs> the mail man lovers! Once again, all the boys in at the Mail, Colin McLeod, plant manager and all the rest, and the managers and that, and all the crew, me Kev, Mark Morell, all the boys in there, Jason Grant, he's dying for me to say that. So you come with gold medalist now, so what's next for you? What, what do you want to go for next? I don't know, man. You see that again, Colin Mel Pat? Come on, Colin Mel, I think that's oh, the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not used to hearing that gold medal, you know what I mean? I can use it about ten times at the sink in. But eh, uh, unbelievable. I don't know what's next, you know what I mean? Maybe the Olympics, or maybe, I don't know, just need to wait and see, because uh, there's a lot of funding needed as well, because I'm doing this, I'm on part time, and everybody I'm fighting is full time, you know what I mean? I'm on part time, training, trying to put everyone in, you know what I mean? I think there's a job for you as a chat show host, actually. Do you fancy that? Ah, that'd be uh, good. That'd be a right good laugh, man. You kind of got me shutting up, right? <laughs> Congratulations. You are Commonwealth Games I champion. Can't. That was just I brilliant. Well, done. Well, done. <laughs> Wonderful. well, from one champion who will have a medal ceremony.